YouTube buddies, I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and welcome back to another installment in my Celebrating Disney series where I review and celebrate all things Disney animated and live action each week under the main Disney banner. This week is another live action review and I'm doing a first in this series. This will be this is the first Disney sports drama that I've reviewed in this series and it's one I hadn't actually seen before and it's considered one of their better films. And today's review is my review of their 2004 sports drama, Miracle. So Miracle was released in 2004 and it is based on the true story of the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team. The film was directed by Gavin O'Connor, and you might have heard his name recently. Gavin O'Connor is best known for directing the movie Warrior, a very awesome wrestling movie with Tom Hardy and Joe Edgerton. Some consider that to be one of the most underrated films of the decade. If you follow Sean Chandler on YouTube, he highly ranks that as one of the best movies of all time. And that is a really good movie, and I do highly recommend checking that one out. He also directed movies such as The Accountant, and most recently, The Way Back. But Miracle, I think, was his first big movie, and I'm here to talk about it right now. And what do I think of it? Let's find out together. When college coach Herb Brooks is hired to helm the 1980 U.S. men's Olympic hockey team, he brings a unique and brash style to the ice. After assembling a team of hot-headed college all-stars who are humiliated in an early match, Brooks unites his squad against the common foe, the heavily favored Soviet team. So even though I am not a crazy big sports guy, and I'm saying every sport, I'm not into any of them, I do know the story of the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team because it is considered one of the greatest sports moments in history. And a pretty inspiring one at that. It's this really cool little underdog story about this underdog team who rises up and during a critical moment in the Olympics uh, takes down the highly favored Soviet team who had dominated the sports scene for a good 20 years. This was a very inspiring moment because it helped unite the USA once again after a string of political and social fallouts in the 1970s and I, I did and it was cool seeing that reflected uh, in the movie even though this is a more dramatized cheesy feel-good sports biopic it's cool seeing that play out once again the opening credits is a montage of a lot of U.S. events throughout the 1970s seeing people's distrust in the politics and in the social stuff and so we got a good little backdrop of what built up to this event and this miracle that ended up taking place on ice and watching miracle for the first time made me realize how relevant this movie still is and not diving too deep into politics obviously but uh, this is a movie that i think is well warranted because uh, there's a lot of divisiveness in the modern world and a good escapism like a hockey game or anything sports related or something if that helped unite a nation show its true identity and liberties that's definitely something inspiring to take hold and I definitely enjoyed seeing Miracle play out now granted this is a cliche generic sports movie on the surface but this movie really clicked for me and I think a lot of it had to do with the overall story and message and you got Gavin O'Connor behind the camera someone who did enjoy Warrior I do need to rewatch that movie again by the way but that movie is really good there's such ferocity in the sports sequences and watching Miracle made me realize hockey is brutal like some of the plays that happen in this film regardless of which team is playing and who they're against it just oh it's so intense to watch like people get hurt so easily in this sport and it's so violent but it's so energetic to watch especially the way gavin o'connor helms these sequences reminds me a little bit of how raw things get in warrior as well so pretty much gavin o'connor is great 
at sports movies. Another thing worth talking about is Kurt Russell playing her Brooks, the coach. And obviously the coach is pr probably what's focused on the most is his relationship to the team and his passion in building the team up. We see that he was in the 1960 U.S. Olympic hockey team but was cut short and didn't get his chance at playing the game. And now he sees this as an opportunity to get his big break to train the team into something even greater. And I definitely enjoyed Kurt Russell in this movie. It was actually just fun seeing the psyche of this character. You get to see the brash methods he does in training the team. Some moments make the guy feel a little sadistic, honestly, because he does like these psychiatric tests to mentally prepare these men to be even greater athletes. And that does seem a little harsh and sadistic at first, but we see that those methods are successful, so... Who am I to judge? Kurt Russell is excellent in this film, and he definitely adds so much weight to this film than what this movie could have easily been, because Disney's known for their sports movies being very generic and predictable and overly cheesy, and some of the sports movies I'm not too crazy on because of that. Miracle ranks above that mainly because, one, Kurt Russell is fantastic in the film, the sports sequences are energetically directed, and Gavin O'Connor did a great job of showing the heart of this story. Is this movie perfect? No. One of the biggest issues I did have was how one-dimensional the team was. Like, I can't name any of the 20 members of the team for one. They all felt like throwaway one-note characters, and they try setting up conflicts with the coach, and then some characters have issues with... Uh, than others, but at the end of the day, I just didn't really care about any of their personalities. They all felt like stock characters that are just there for a goal. And I think I, the movie might have been even better if they had dived into the team a little bit more, seeing their side of the story and how their confidence got boosted over time. I think that would have been even better for the movie's sake. I also think Herb's personal life, that whole aspect, uh, some of the family struggles he had to go through as well, alongside him coaching his team, I think it got glossed over as well. I think a lot of times if they show some of those personal problems, they tend to be glossed over in a lot of movies like that. But it's something that I think needed to be brought up because it did feel glossed over, and I kind of wish there was a little more of that as well. Overall, Miracle is really great. I, I did have a blast watching this movie. There is a ton of heart to this film because the story is so inspiring to watch. It's fun seeing this done in biopic form. I remember seeing a documentary about this event, I think, in high school, which had the real guys from the hockey team talk about their experience, and I think... Part of that, seeing that, I think, helped me with the enjoyment of the biopic version. But yeah, the story is pretty epic. I enjoyed the ferocity and the direction from Gavin O'Connor. Kurt Russell probably gives one of his best performances, in my opinion, in this film. I think he's just so excellent at bringing his character to life. He does become the coach, in my opinion. I think he does a great job with that type of role. And I enjoyed seeing him give a great performance in a Disney film. That's always awesome to see. This movie is so inspiringly scored. I definitely enjoyed the heart this movie had. And it's among one of Disney's better sports movies. Some other sports movies I love from Disney as well. If you're curious, I'm also a fan of Glory Road. And I think Secretariat is just awesome. That one's probably my favorite. Miracle is definitely up there as well, mainly because I love the heart of the story, the Kurt Russell, and how intense Gavin O'Connor's direction is. Those three things make Miracle a pretty great movie, even though there's some aspects that could have been better. But still, I'm going to give Miracle a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100-point scale... It's getting an 81 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Miracle as part of my Celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney 
animated and live action, regardless of quality under the main Disney banner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a hardcore fan of Disney, definitely check the link in the description below for a playlist of all my past reviews in this series, my animated reviews, my live action reviews. If you enjoy Disney and you're a hardcore fan, click the link in the description below to see more. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future Celebrating Disney videos. Each week on Celebrating Disney, I review and alternate between animated and live action reviews. This week was a live action review, and those are more freestyle, and they are prone to request. If there's any live action reviews you'd like me to tackle in the future, don't be shy and share your requests down below. Animated reviews are more in release order between their theatrical animated classics, the Pixar films, and their direct-to-DVD animated films, including the infamous sequels that they made. Join me next week on Celebrating Disney where I'll be reviewing an animated film. And this will actually be, I think, Disney's first direct-to-video animated film. And it's actually a movie I've never seen before. I thought it would be a terrible movie. But a lot of people actually do highly enjoy this one. And it's considered a cult classic. So I'm definitely intrigued to talk about this one. And it's The Brave Little Toaster. I've never seen the film. And I hope it's really good. And I ended up buying the DVD because the movie's currently not on Disney+. Plus. Miracle's on Disney+. Plus. Definitely check it out on Disney+, Plus if you have it and if you hadn't seen it. But yeah, The Brave Little Toaster was not on Disney+. Plus, So I ended up buying the DVD. I can't wait to check out The Brave Little Toaster. And definitely look forward to that video coming next week. But if you've seen Miracle, let me know down in the comments below. Would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!